Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a new idea from Start, Start Factory Art Digital Show. An extremely unconventional and unorthodox way to present art. Departing from today, we will entertain you for three days, starting always at the same time. We will present you a selection of five talented artists. We will introduce you to the Start Core team and discuss art and artists, and especially show you our insane passion for art. So why did we decide to create such an ambitious show? For two main reasons. First, we want people to understand our message our vision and especially the enthusiasm we put in what we do. Otherwise, we would just be another online platform. Second, to present our incredible artists. And uh, by the way, if you decide to buy their artworks this week, you will receive a 20% discount. So do not hesitate. But enough chit chat. Let's crack on. I'm not on my own. I pass the ball to Thierry for the presentation of the first artist. Case is a young artist based in London with a huge attitude for murals and graffiti. Lately he has been um, developing himself towards digitalism. His style is extremely rich, merging different techniques uh, to create a super, super heterogeneous final product. J. Case is currently working on a creative process focusing on the interrelation between art and technology. It is about the change of human beings due to technology and its exponential growth. And the art especially reflects the human ability to deal with these changes that affect the way we see ourselves as well as our vision of the future as a society. the canvas. The buildings are watching you. They cry. They laugh. Dragged art into the real world. Two realities confront each other. Art that lies on the tracks of an ordinary life. Of those who go to work. Of those who go to school. Art that can be anything but ordinary. Majestic, colorful art. The art that makes people who are passing by stop think. An impulse that goes from the eyes straight to the heart and up to the mind. I know that colors have relationships. If you bring them together, they can create new colors. They can fall in love 
and makes you fall in love with them. A colorful Cupid who throws rainbow arrows. Colors have a sound, a music for the deaf, a cry in the dark, a power that affects the soul. Features that, like expressions of a face, are mirrors of emotions. The walls divide while my art creates. They unite the thoughts, the ideas, the hearts. There have always been people who have built walls instead of bridges. I build neither the wall nor the bridge, but painting on the walls make them become the bridges. Because my colors, my images, and my ideas do in a way that the shortest distance between two points on my painting is from there to the wall that I will paint next. If you enjoyed Jay's talent, do not lose the chance to acquire one of his artworks. You can find them on the link below, and if you buy them within Sunday the 14th of March, you will receive 20% discount. We want you to get to know us better. But instead of annoying you with classical interviews, we will do uh, video clips on three main start members. Then we will show you short videos on the rest of the star team today we present my good friend and star sales and business development manager thierry nigel enjoy my name is terry nigler and i am sales and business development at start Art entered my life through skateboarding and creating custom decks. If you ask a painter what a brush is, um, he'll tell you it's not just a brush. Uh, it's, it's more a means of expression and uh, developing one's taste and career. It's just uh, as if when I created my decks, it's not just a piece of wood, it's not just a skateboard. It's simplicity might even be misleading. Um, through my education as a carpenter, I learned how to manipulate this uh, material and yet something was missing, a little detail, something which would bring it out of the ordinary, the final touch, basically. The color and details were missing. I started my search for this final touch, for the finesse, so I came to the conclusion, artists. A world opened up, vast, complex, filled with beauty. Um, a world which exchanging questions with other people's offers generated true friendship as, long as, as well as generating business. Lasting partnerships. I became friends with, with most of the artists I've worked with, created shades and depth in the product I was developing um, while hand in hand supporting, supporting their name and their output. Our souls, as well as colors, products and materials started to mash and develop into something new. I immediately also understood that it's just as hard for artists to be noticed as it was tricky for my decks to come out of the ordinary. So yeah, it was really a win-win. Um, it worked out fantastically. Ended in good friendships and great products. Then I met Carlo Tozzi and start. Immediately I felt that no, I knew that I could make a difference by offering insights and advice into bridging the gap between collectors and artists. And this hand in hand with Start. To be clear, I am not what the general public would define as an artist. I don't paint lines on canvas, uh, but I create them on, develop them on my decks and the other products hand in hand with these artists. I look for them in the open, all sorts of inspiration, but just like these artists, my attitude is to look ahead. 
always ahead. Uh, layers that go through, depending on what you have to endure. If you fall, you got to get back up, keep at it, keep that state of mind. That's really the most essential part of the business, I would think. And helping out these artists to develop their name in the scene while also supporting Start Amsterdam and the collectors we, we would like to tie together with these artists. Today I'm a 2.0 patron, a lover of arts, fanatic of arts maybe nearly, um, so much that I really, really highly value the transportation and care that goes into the logistical part of, of this business. Uh, most of the art I transport, I don't trust logistical firms. I prefer to do it myself, get into my car, load it up and drive hours on end. Got some good music playing in the background, some beats, maybe soft, maybe harder. And they just lullaby me into this trance, which helps me develop, plan and think of new ideas or projects which we could be creating. So yeah, it's a big part of the, of the passion transportation and uh, caring for these works. As I said at the beginning, I don't draw lines on the canvas, but I still want to see it everywhere. Anywhere I go, all over the place. I have it a part of my day-to-day -day life. I like to think today's world as naked, nude, a nude canvas that needs to be dressed. Dressed with art, art of all sorts, of all colors, everywhere. As above, so below, even in the air, it should be everywhere. Start welcomes and nourishes artists, giving them the necessary tools to express themselves at the best of their potentials. I want to make art and its related market accessible and enjoyable to everyone. The passion makes us different. The time our curators dedicate to artists and buyers. The free marketing, promotions, press and international events we offer to artists and art collectors. We do art workshops and lectures online and live to artists, to art beginners, to kids. Providing as well creative coaching services. We want to bring art everywhere. Schools, hotels, co-working spaces with our renting and interior decorating services. So, as I told you, I'm not on my own. So now I pass the ball to my friend Nushin, so she will present another artist. and honored to introduce to you an extremely talented artist from my country, Iran, Ladan Topiri, to be precise, from Tehran. Her style is undoubtedly characteristic of my country. In her illustrative artworks, uh, she represents herself showing her childhood 
memories in a noir comic way and style. Her uh, main characters are women in public situations and society with a strong taste of symbolism. So now here we take a look to Ladan's artworks from Iran Stories series. Uh, here we present six artworks which are available on this show. As you can see, these illustrative artworks are mostly in black and white, using black china ink, watercolors, and marker, where sometimes also you can find somehow some red and yellow colors. Each day, we live the moments. Sometimes, those moments hide under the layers of our mind. Then, one day, we understand those moments turned into memories, black and white memories. It happens that here and there, some colors appear like a waiting animal hidden in the grass. Memory is our private literature an illustrated book that others can only read through its title, White Memories, Black Memories. They melt in painted pictures of what has happened. Happy memories are impossible to catch. Horrible memories are impossible to erase. I see women from this planet that at a glance they seem to come from another world. They look all the same, indistinct, lost inside a monochromatic shell from which only the eyes can be seen. Mirror of blended souls which don't want to break. The door of excited hearts that wants to be understood and to be loved. Black ink puts focus on things. Black ink highlights what we have and what we don't have anymore. Lost paradise or founded hells, all in black and white. Sometimes it hurts, other times it heals old wounds. A true artist is never afraid of pain and willingly offers his chest to others. Deep inside, he knows that every time he dives into art, he will always fall right on his heart. So, if you have enjoyed Ladan's talent, do not lose a chance to acquire her artworks, which you can find them on the link below. And if you buy them within Sunday 14, you will receive 20% discount. And now I will kick it over to Carlo, and he's going to tell us why he doesn't like art. I don't like art. Yeah, correct. You heard me. 
this is a provocative moment I would like to dedicate to all the people watching, a moment in which I truly speak my mind on the art world and what triggered me to create Start. I don't like art the way it is done today. I don't like the art market. I don't like art because uh, it's not truly for everyone. I want art to be appreciated, understood by whoever approaches it, even without specific skills. For too long, art has been a monopoly only of a certain elite of people, speaking as a language not achievable from everyone. We make it easy for people to capture it. We make sure, first of all, art reaches everyone with our services. The art digital show is this. We want to bring art to your house instead of obliging people to go to galleries, especially in this moment, we bring art to their home. Secondly, we make sure art speaks a reasonable, possible language, a dialect everyone can comprehend and interact with. A casual and normal language, our, our language, because this is what we are normal people with a very strong, contagious, common pathology, passion for art. I do not like art. Let's face it. People are extremely reluctant to the purchase of art, often even held back, possibly not even considering it as a valued um, investment. Therefore, often, if a work is appreciated, the acquisition and will to support an artist can be countered by the respect uh, of the sales process. I am here to say that art is not only a good investment for oneself and community, it is also a great sensorial experience, which brings color and energy to everyday life. My main contribution to start as an editorial content writer. So basically, I'm the one who interviews artists. And to me, it was a great opportunity. As an art lover myself and editorial content writer myself already, it was just great to see how this amazing community was exponentially growing all the time. So the artists were always there, enthusiastic to be, to get interviewed and to get part themselves in this project. So we hope you have enjoyed this first episode as much as we have enjoyed doing this. By the way, this episode will remain available and this link even after show. And we invite you to join us tomorrow at the same time for another exciting episode featuring two new artists, Lena Spur and Victor Bayonas, and very other exciting content.